Chris the Carpenter here. Big CNC update. Uh, okay. Uh, I've I've been busy. First of all, um, the laser cutter is laser cutting. So sorry that it's singing in the background. Uh, okay. So here it is. It's done. It's moving. Probably still needs some adjusting, some tidying up here and there, but I have I have a working machine. Um, probably going to be a repeat of the last video that I posted, but if you haven't seen it, then it won't be a repeat. <laughs> um, big honk and steel. Quarter inch angle iron, 3 16 wall, 3 by 2 tubing, just big gnarly chunks of steel everywhere um, so big in fact that it started to punch through the floor uh, this sunroom was uh, has leaked for many years I actually just resurrected it by adding a secondary roof on top of it to make it dry so the plywood is a little soft in places and this foot here was actually starting to go all the way through the floor um, so I've added these pads um, there's a total of 12 screws in each pad. They're about a foot square. And then that is a three inch long by half inch uh, lag screw all the way through everything. So it's a total of 48 screws and four bolts, 54 fasteners just to bolt this thing to the floor. <laughs> it's incredible. All right, um, I finished my table. Um, this is... Uh, these are my T-tracks that I milled in. Now I milled this part and then I glued this part to the bottom half and then after it was glued together then I finished milling the smaller groove on top to complete the T-track. The and then they have um, where I need these. Uh, these are the fancy T-track bolts. You get these from Rockler Woodworking along with these really snazzy hold downs um, I needed more of these and I don't want to wait a week or spend the money to get them from Rockler so I got some carriage bolts and I cut the heads off and uh, and they seem to work just great um, the little square bit at the bottom seems to fit these tracks just about right it's a little tight but pretty darn close so uh, so there you go um, I at oh, they're so nice these beautiful T tracks all milled in um, at one point, I had this idea of sneaking screws through these grooves to screw these down. And then I got smart, and I just screwed it up from the bottom. Ah! Uh, yeah. So this is incredibly, I mean, it's just, there's just no slop anywhere. I mean, it's just so incredibly rock solid. Um, I added this guy here. This is a, um, these are connections for my when I'm 3d printing uh, that's a stepper motor and that's the extruder head two of them are the element and two of them are the uh, temperature sensor and then uh, 110 volt power um, for all my accoutrements um, this is another CNC irony moment which is basically you need the CNC to make parts to make the C for, to make for the CNC yeah um, I needed to make a new router clamp. This router clamp hangs way, way, way too low. This is the one from version, this plate is from version one uh, of the CNC machine. Um, so, uh, but I, nevertheless, I need the CNC machine to mill a new uh, router clamp and a new back plate. And so I had to use this plate as a modifying plate to modify my new bolt pattern to my old bolt pattern to use the old bracket enough that I can mill a new bracket with this back plate, if that makes any sense at all. But the point is, I've got a temporary setup right now that will at least allow me to mill the parts I need to make a permanent assembly. Ting. Um, these 5 16 inch bolts are going through double thick quarter inch and quarter inch. That's um, basically a half inch deep tapped hole that these are threading into. Um, they're, they're it's, it's incredible <laughs> it's it just it's just meat ah all right um so we figured that out uh i'm gonna make a, a plexiglass template with these bolt 
holes in the pattern so if I ever need to make new plates um, I could just I have like a standalone uh, drill pattern to match this uh, I still got to make a holder for the Dremel tool oh yeah I got um, my uh, PCB bits the V groove the super duper ungodly sharp V groove bits um, for milling traces on circuit boards are here so I don't think I have the right collet for them unfortunately I gotta have to figure that out but so that's that uh, I'm gonna make a vacuum table that will clamp down to this existing table to hold my circuit boards when I'm milling because that seems to make the most sense um, oh and it moves here wait sorry um, here's the here's the table uh, let's see this way Da -da -da -da. And then here is the Z axis, but only a little bit because the bit is already so close. And then here is uh, X. It's hard to hold the camera out while I'm holding the. Uh, the keys on the keyboard to make this go. Alright, so there's that. Um, then there's also on the back of this little outlet box thing, there's also a, um, there's a plate here with a couple holes and this is actually where eventually I'd like to get some of that nifty chain track that holds cables that goes back this stuff here. Um, this, I'd like to get whatever that's called. Um, uh, and lay it right here, but for now I'm just going to have to do like some wire loom and this here is actually a mounting point for a zip tie for my uh, my bundle of cables to come down. And here is my dust collection, which eventually will go to a big dust collection plate there with a brush. Um, I got new couplers because my old ones were uh, the wrong size, I, and I drilled them out and I drilled them crooked. These are the right size and not drilled crooked. <laughs> and that's it. It's, um, it's disastrously big. It's incredibly heavy. We could barely lift it just to get it in the door. And now that it's bolted to the floor, uh, I mean, I, I'm shaking the entire sunroom if I try to shake the machine. It's, it's just incredibly solid. Don't need the cinder blocks. Um, I do need a piece of wood there to make a shelf, but oddly enough, um, I don't know how the hell to get it in there without removing the CNC part from the stand. Should have thought of that. Um, but nevertheless, I'm actually going to um, I'm actually going to make triangular drawer fronts and dra triangular drawers to pull out of here for bits and whatnot, and then um, possibly a drawer here if I weld across here and put a drawer in there um, but that seems to make the most sense for accessibility to pull out as opposed to trying to climb through that little V hole there um, mounting the motors like this through the plate worked incredibly well all right and I think that's it um, I think if I go any farther I'm gonna start rambling I am uh, it's been a long I've basically put in like 13, 14 hours a day for the last week working on this. And then every night I'm putting in another four hours or so on uh, on office work, trying to get a new couple of new products out the door and uh, instructions and PDFs and stuff written for them. So um, I'm very, very happy to see this in one piece and working. I got stop switches to do. I got some tidying up to do, some wiring, some cleanup. But, uh, but all in all, I have an incredibly solid machine, completely usable, completely workable, awesome, awesome, super awesome, um, sitting in my shop. So there you go. Ding!